Welcome to NDTR Spotlight, a show where we highlight former and current NDTRs. And NDTR, if you don't know, stands for Nutritionist Diet Technician Registered. They also go by the credential DTR, which stands for Diet Technician Registered. In order to become an NDTR, you have to graduate from an accredited program, take an exam, and participate in continual education. Welcome to NDTR Spotlight. I'm your host, Marie Lorraine. Today, we're doing our pause and review and looking back at some of the highlights from our past four interviews that happened in December and January. Um, we only had four because there was awesome holidays in these last two months, obviously Christmas and New Year's, so we took a little break to celebrate those. And before we get into our interviews, some quick updates on NDTR Spotlight. We are now on Spotify and Anchor, so you can listen to us in podcast form if that is an easier way for you to hear and listen and be encouraged by these interviews to hopefully um, keep you going in your career and breaking boundaries and doing great things it's an NDTR current former or a past NDTR and we are also Bella one of the interviewers from this past uh, little segment of four interviews informed me on Instagram that we are on the Paradise Valley, a community college in Arizona that has a dietetic program. We're on their resource pages, so that just means that more of these stories, more of the NDTR stories are being shared and hopefully encouraging lots and lots of people. Now, let's review our four interviewers that we had these last two months. We had Isabella, who is a student. She's graduating in May 2021 with her DT, with being eligible to sit for her DTR exam. We also had a very different interview. We had an interview with Jenny, who's the owner and founder of All Access Dietetics, which specializes in helping, coaching, and mentoring um, students with the application process to become a dietitian, which is an excellent and very relevant topic in the world of DTRs, as even a poll from our small following on NDTR Spotlight showed that some of the DTRs are looking and currently applying and going through that diecast process to become a dietitian. I myself am a DTR who is transitioning over to become a dietitian, so super relevant and really informative interview. So many free awesome nuggets in there. Then we interviewed Jani, who is a food blogger DTR and has a master's degree and her writing is flawless. She's so gifted in writing and has a blog. And then lastly, we had a YouTube superstar, Vanessa, who is um, currently studying for her DTR exam. She's eligible to sit. Um, but is planning to take the test. So she has a YouTube channel and she's putting out content like no one's business. She has an ebook and she has a blog. So awesome, awesome people that we interviewed, like always. I am but super excited. I'm always excited about the people we interview on this platform. But without further ado, enough of my face. Let's see some of the highlights from their interviews these past two months. Um, associate diet technician and a bachelor's diet technician. Okay, so I'll just go off and explain. I feel like a lot of people know like the bachelor's route where you like get your four-year degree in dietetics and then I believe you're just eligible to sit for the exam without doing in, any type of like internship. And then the associate degree route, so all these classes are catered towards um, like a diet technology certificate or associate degree, even though like a lot of the classes do transfer to like a four-year undergrad. So you do that coursework there. And then we have a thing called practicums, which is like an already internship in a way. So they divide the practicum into three semesters. We have like a medical nutrition therapy theme one, food service, and then community. And then by the end of your coursework and internships, you should have like 450 hours. And then you're able to graduate and then you're able to sit for the RD exam. So it should take about like two to three years from start to finish how fast and how many classes. The DTR brings usually some extra experience. Do you notice if the DTRs you work with, if they're able to stand out or if they're able to stand out more on an application or you talked on that a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah, I think that they they definitely stand out with just that real world experience, especially if they can put the the credential to use. Um, we will recommend it to our coaching clients that if a coaching client might start working with us nine months before their application deadline. And at that point, we can assess like what are some weaknesses or gaps that they can try to improve on before they apply many, many times we're saying take the DTR uh, because it and, and then try to get a job with the DTR, but it can really help just show directors that you have that competency and that you can pass a credentialing e exam. 
credential. Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> Credentialing exam. I was like, I have not said that word in a while. <laughs> um, and uh, and yeah, so similar to the RD exam, you know, it's a similar setup and everything. Uh, that if you can show that you can pass that, then directors will feel more confident that you can pass the RD exam. Lots, lots of different areas to to study up on. So you you have a very interesting um, story in that you started the dietetic internship but you decided not to continue on it for health purposes. Can you kind of talk a little bit about that if you're comfortable? Yeah, I'm happy to share about that. I mean, I think it was, you know, because I'm older, I thought, well, I have to go right into the internship and go ahead and get that RD. And, uh, you know, if I'm going to get the RD, I need to go and do it right away and not take any time after, which I think might've been a mistake after finishing my degree. Mm -hmm. I think that, um, it might be better to wait a little bit for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But um, the real problem for me was that, you know, it's a pretty arduous process, that internship. And I had a commute that sometimes was two hours one way. Mm-hmm. And I should have, in retrospect, I should have I should have probably moved to the, that. I should probably have not done the commute. I probably should have gotten an apartment or found some kind of sit, living situation that was closer. Mm-hmm. But um, I didn't, and my migraines got really bad. I have I developed migraine in midlife, and they got kind of out of control while mm-hmm. I was going. Through. Wow. Okay. Wait. Sorry. I'm a little confused. So you live in New York, but you did your associate's degree in Arizona online. Yes, yes, it's fully online. That their DTR wow. program is fully online. So you're responsible for finding your own internship. But that part was kind of hard for me. So I didn't think I was gonna really get it, but I was like, I really wanna become a DTR. So like in 2018, I went back and contacted them and they were like, you know, you can rejoin the program and still finish. So um, while I was pregnant last year, I was doing a class that was like the pre-internship to look for, you know, preceptors. And that part was hard. And my um, director really helped me to get it. She was like, we're not going to give up. We're going to find it. So she gave me all the way till the end of 2019 to find the um, preceptor. Is there anything you want to share with DTRs, former, current, or future DTRs before we close out the interview? Yes, I would say, um, you know, don't give up, keep pushing for it. It takes a while to get through, you know, these programs, but, you know, you just got to keep going because it gets tough. (laughs) Don't stop. (laughs) I hope you enjoyed those highlights. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for support of this channel. It's so fun watching it grow and spreading the word about the NDTR credential. We'll be posting every Thursday as long as we have a DTR to spotlight. And we are always looking for DTRs to share their stories. So definitely reach out to us if you are a DTR and you've been watching and you have a story that you want to share. Or if you know of any, please recommend them to us and we will reach out and see if we can set up an interview. Every story is unique, so we want to hear them all because someone else's story might motivate someone and another they might not motivate somebody else. So all stories, I'm all for it. I'm super excited to connect and talk with you if you're watching. Thanks again for watching. <laughs> I will see you in another interview.